Hello everyone and welcome to today's Civilian SpaceX updates. We have a busy one this week on today's episode we go over Booster 7's past, present and future, Ship 24 fires up and finally SpaceX begin future proofing the OLM. Let's get right to it. Booster 7 has had a busy few weeks with several static fires taking place on two separate occasions. This is history making as it is first time an engine has created thrust in the orbital launch mount and also the first time a Raptor 2 has ignited on an orbital class rocket at Starbase. Another history making moment is this is the longest sustained static fire ever performed at Starbase at 20 seconds. All these static fires look completely normal and on Friday the 12th of August the booster was lifted off the pad and rolled back to the mega bay to get the 13 centre engines installed on the booster. Elon Musk further confirmed this plan on Twitter. In the coming days we could see Booster 7 roll back out to the launch site for testing of those 13 centre engines and hopefully closer to a 33 engine static fire than ever before. Ship 24 has ignited its test campaign of a static fire with two engines being ignited. This test looked normal with even some Mac diamonds being observed. This week I fully expect further static fires being possible with road closures posted as well as a notice to mariners. The OLM has begun to be protected even further after very thick steel doors have been fitted on the cabinets of the OLM which hold loads of major equipment and components for normal operations. These doors almost look like vault doors. This could indicate SpaceX getting ready for the blast of a static fire. Let me tell you a little secret. There is reason to believe Elon has called in lots of workers to Starbase again just like last year. This could indicate SpaceX ramping up operations for a static fire on full stack. And that is it for today's civilian SpaceX updates. I'm your host Jack. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out our Patreon link below. Ad Astra.